Welcome to Empire at War, Return of the Jedi! I am so excited. I was so happy whenever I uh, played this because uh, the... Uh, a, you knew how to do things again, and B, it was in space. And I did the cinematic mode in space! I could only imagine how great it would look, and I wasn't disappointed. It was so great. Yeah, it looks really good in space. Welcome to Straw Rats! Raw ta erip me! Erip me! Erip me! Erip me! No, I am Lipper! Okay, I'm not gonna read the whole thing backwards because I'm not talented enough to do that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so, um. I saw, I saw a really dumb Frozen shirt mm -hmm. that said, Getting Swole Never Bothered Me Anyway. <laughs> I love it. Getting swole never bothered me anymore. <laughs> it was it was it was uh, Elsa doing squats. That's awesome. <laughs> Hashtag do your squats, cried. ladies and gentlemen. Do your squats. Yeah, um, I'm definitely at this point. Whenever we started uh, Star Wars a month, because again, I wasn't that big of a Star Wars fan before I started this, but I'm a big Star Wars fan now. I was almost positive that more than half of the video, the games we were going to play, I would never pick up after December. I think uh, Jedi Academy, Empire at War, um, are definitely among the two I wasn't expecting to want to play again. But I'm definitely I'm going to beat those There's freaking no games. Way we're getting past that and I have destroyed. to be Knights of the Old Republic now because of the us. promise that it's I made Tyrus. <laughs> it's it's because enough. of that promise the that Emperor you have the Star Wars Holiday Special. There you, so there you go. Thank so him. What now? If he doesn't keep here, it, the special it's comes down. You all have uh, the to Imperial put your faith in me. Yes, I think we can get their attention. Wedge Antilles, a guy who doesn't want to be in the sequel series. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to cause as I much destruction understand. as we can. And be he quick doesn't about. want to be in the sequel series? Yes, sir. Right, he didn't want to reprise his role for episode 6, for uh, 7, 8, 9. Alarm will sound oh, I forgot that he was in the movies. Won't be far behind. Wedge Antilles? Wedge Antilles. To get the yeah. Back here. He's in it, but he's not like a major, I mean, major character. Ahead. He's like the one that the, like the true fans, like, oh, that's Wedge Antilles. Reporting, Commander. Well, no, he, he he's big Target in the first confirmed. one. Hmm. Because he's in Luke's squad of X-Wings. There, we, okay. Second. Now I remember him. He uses dem lasers to shoot dem ties. Now everyone, feel free to start screaming at the computer because I kind of forgot that if I hit those big things, everything goes boom. Standing by. This is the Kuat Which is how I win. We have come under rebel attack. Very easily. Requesting assistance. Look at that. It's so cool. We're in space, guys. Activate them. I love that type of. Oh, I th at this point, I thought I was stuck in a trap, uh, stuck in a tractor beam. So I was like, started like, what, what, what is that? Why am I going backwards? And then I remember that space is kind of like, it doesn't really move. Ready to fire. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's space. I love how intense they're trying to make that super small target because that's what I happen to target. It's like, look at this thing. So intense. And I love how dizzy. So many lasers. I love how the TIE Fighters act like a swarm of bees, they're just going nuts. Just look at them, they're just like, there's no way yeah. they can know what they're doing. I reach. Weapons madness, are. But it's so fun. Like this is definitely a game that like, if I knew what to do, I would just like string up a bunch of commands, and then just eat pizza and watch it. Like, I just can watch the space stuff happen for hours. Look at him! Look at him go! I love it. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching it right now. It's a bit slideshow for me, but... I'm, I'm actually... A uh, fun fact about space, I'm gonna make it realistic for what you would actually hear in the battle. Now I'm gonna turn it back off. Do you like that? Do you like that joke? Do you like that smart joke that <laughs> I, I just it, pulled? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I was waiting for the. <laughs> <laughs> Have we told the origin of that joke yet? 
playing Ares Mod once and we were playing Star Wars RP. And since we were like newbies to the server or whatever, we couldn't do anything. Yeah. So we decided, okay, let's just make our own TIE Fighter. Which consisted of me <laughs> standing on top of Nile and he <laughs> ran around. Well, yeah, that's like, that's the second part of the story. The first part of the story was uh, us talking about like our favorite Star Wars ships, and I didn't know the name of the Tie Fire. I was like, "What's that one? You know the one that goes like?" And then I lost. Tired slap for a solid ten minutes. Ugh. I like how that Tie Fire just went through my nose. It's, the reason I laugh so hard is because I can imagine what your face looks like when you do it. <laughs> your eyes bug out a little bit. You got this half grin. <laughs> That's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> like no joke, that's exactly what it looked like. Reporting in. Attacking. That's so beautiful. I'm sorry we're, having, we're not confident. This is it's just so fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it speaks for itself. I mean, the graphics aren't fantastic, but they're good enough that you can tell. You're they're looking just at just good enough. It if doesn't they, look terrible. If they were like a little bit less, then I probably wouldn't like it as much. But it's just as it's just good enough. I love how they're doing the. This story. game was cutting edge when it came out. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see that. that. Or pretty darn close. Like, I remember, like, I was not impressed at all the first the time that I played this because, of, uh, because, I the because I didn't know the it cinematic like button. Cause damage it, like, it makes such a big difference. Prepare the ships. Oh, yeah. by the way, I failed. We have been defeated. Yeah, we've been defeated. So, uh, try to. There we go. So now I'm going a little bit easier, and now I realize you could just blow a bunch of crap up. And I'm having a good time with that. Look at freaking Kuat with its. Uh, so are they trying? It looks like they're trying to build man-made rings. Uh, is, that, is that is that the story? No, the story is that you're attacking an imperial shipyard, which is no, where I they made the story, Star Destroyers. No, I know the story, but I'm talking about why the ring on Kuat looks. Don't know anything about that planet. Okay, it looks man-made. I'm like maybe they were building a, 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 a rotating station, and they're just not done yet. It might just be representative of a uh, ring of uh, space debris. Maybe. I don't know. Attacking target. Reporting I think this is when I realized, yeah, shoot those. And then I'm like, oh yeah! They explode! I'm gonna sh make him shoot everything. Attacking. Reporting. So, my son is watching Raffi for Standing the first by. time. Moving ahead. Raffi? If you know what that is. He, he, he's a Engage. children singer from 80s. 90s. He sings like he's got the whole world in his hands and songs like that. Banana phone, all that good stuff. Uh, Martin has never heard any of these songs. Yep. So he's going insane trying to sing along with it right now. So if you hear it, <laughs> enjoy. Because um, earlier today he learned how to sing by going ah. My little sister like just, just in she's course. in the repeating age, I so I really have to watch my mouth now. <laughs> um, she's Let's in the repeating age, so like when there's a song that she likes, she'll Waiting repeat, your like her version of singing is repeating the last word of every sentence. That's a good way to start. Yeah, she, like she doesn't care about the middle, like, you know, she knows she's not that advanced yet, she's just gonna do what she can. So it's like zippity doo dah, she's like da, zippity a a. <laughs> Firing! It's so epic, rotating red thing. <laughs> this is the Kuat ship. Oh. We have come under rebel that attack. So Request flying assistance. around that the little point. The is on Imperial security assignment. Maintain channel silence for ceremony communications. All right, now I'm like, all right, there we go. Receiving your transmission. All ships, all four ships are alive. Good. I'll take care of it. Shoot the big things. Yeah, I don't think I've still gotten that yet. But it's fine. Yeah, it's kind of silly that they put these very explosive things so close to their shipyards. The Empire isn't good at uh, planning uh, construction tires. We should know this by now. Yeah. 
Did we ever see I mean, I guess they, the they did just put the little uh, shield generator for the second Death Star on a moon that, I mean, if they wanted to, they could have just bombarded it. Yeah. But they had to be good, you know, ally themselves with the uh, indigenous species. This is just madness. This is just amazing. Like, I'm having such a good time watching this. Lasers, er, were. Weapon time. There we go. Now I finally told them to click it. Now I got it. Now it clicked in my brain. Look at all the blue smoke. That blue smoke. That blue smoke gonna make it taste good. Everybody knows there's a scientific fact that if you blow something up in space, it explodes blue. Ready to fire. How may I assist? What? What about all the little orange explosions? <laughs> Uh, that, that's not that those don't count. Those are firework explosions. Not, you know, TIE fighters exploding? Nope. It's not an explosion unless it's blue. Ready to Something that's else. Good. So it's a word we haven't invented yet. We're thinking of calling them not explosions. It's called a flosion. A flosion. There you go. Thank you. That's why your scientist is number three. <laughs> Two. Aubrey? By the way, we uh we 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 decided that science just isn't good enough, so we're scientists now. You're a scientist. Take your seats. <laughs> Shove it up your butt. Tyrus is the world's greatest scientist because he likes to pretend that he doesn't think that science is correct. Like science dictates that all of those stars right there, <laughs> dead as a doorknob. <laughs> Every right star there. you see in the Every sky star is dead. Is called the door stop. <laughs> I like this shot. This is a good shot. Have you ever had a candle that smelled so good you wish you could eat it and it would taste as good as it smells? A door Fresh handle? To all candle. Units. Okay, I was about to say, we I don't sniff door candles, Tyrus. Door candles are different. Door candles, yeah. Okay. yeah. Emergency code zero. Yay! This is the Responding to code zero. Be aware that you are altering the plan set by Lord Vader himself. <laughs> and you will answer to him if this code has been invoked. Pray he does not lightly. answer the phone. I was waiting for that. Looks like we got their attention. Now let's get out of here. Yay! So, after two episodes, Neo's first victory. Victorious! They we just nuke it. And we didn't destroy it, we just made it a little more ugly, and then we light speed it away. Hooray! So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm also doing the uh, five, four, three, two, one thing, but I forgot you can't see my cursor. So um, thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Next time on football. Oh yeah, next time on Tires today. More Star Wars. <laughs>